In the previous video, we have learned how to create annotations for image classification tasks. Today, we will do it for multi-label image classification. The process is very similar except we will choose uh, multiple labels uh, for images which has more than one class. Okay, so let's start with uh, get started on the bottom right. Choose the images. So here I have already prepared some images for uh, multi-label classification. Let's load the images. So we have loaded 25 images. Then choose image recognition for image classification tasks. Now, as we have discussed before, we choose the labels from file rather than creating uh, uh, locally. So let's load the labels. All right, so three labels are loaded. Start the project. And the three labels, apple, banana, and orange, they appear here, right? So for multi-label, classification some of the images might have only one label some of the images might have all the labels some might have a few labels right so we will see that so this one um, only one label uh, apple now i'm not going to annotate all the images uh, we'll just do a couple of examples only so banana and then this image it has these two labels right it has both apple as well as banana and then this image, it has all three. So we'll choose all three labels. And then let's this image, it has a peer, but peer is not a one of our target variables or target labels. So we are, not, we, we are just going to ignore that. So we will tag it only apple and banana. Okay, uh, let's just do one more image. Maybe this one, let's say orange. Then another orange. Uh, yeah, let's do. So this one it has these bananas, apples as well as oranges. So we tag all labels. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is for demonstration purpose. So we are not tagging all the images. So go to actions and click on export annotations and choose the single CSV file and export, okay? Now let's open this file. So for the multi-label uh, classification also, uh, the output file uh, don't have the header. It has two columns and the first row itself is image data. So on column one, we have the image or file name and on column two, we have the labels. So for example, these uh, this these first four images, they have only one label, whereas this fifth image, it has two labels, apple and banana, okay? Uh, it's just like a Python list. Uh, the labels are separated by commas. Now, again, we might not be uh, using this file as it is when training uh, the image classification models, uh, different frameworks like TensorFlow, SageMaker, PyTorch, etc. They have their own uh, formats uh, for the ground truth. So in SageMaker video uh, video course, we will see how to use these files to convert this to uh, different formats uh, expected by uh, different frameworks and uh, image classification models. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much.